Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be giving you the best recording settings for OBS in 2022. So basically you're going to want to go to settings and keep in mind this should work for any recording software. Essentially they're going to have pretty much the same settings. So I'm using like the uh, OBS studio here, but it'll work with all, uh, you know, recording softwares pretty much. Um, so we're basically going to be covering two tabs, which in OBS is called video, and then we're going to cover output. So first you want to go to your video tab. Um, First, you want to look at your base canvas resolution. This is going to be really just the size of your monitor. So for most people, it's probably going to be 1080 or 1920 by 1080. Um, if you have a 1440 monitor, then it's going to be that. If you have a 4K monitor, it's going to be that. But uh, basically, you can just leave this on your monitor's resolution. And then the only one you might want to change um, is your output scaled resolution. This is what you're going to actually be recording at. So I would recommend 1080p. Um, it's pretty standard in 2022, so that's definitely what you're going to want to use. Um, downscale filter, I honestly don't find this to make much of a difference. I think it's usually owned by Cubic by default. Um, I put mine on Lanxos because it's supposed to be a little sharper or something, but uh, you can just leave it alone or change it to Lanxos. It's really up to you. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, 60 FPS is probably recommended um, in 2022, especially for gaming videos, recordings, or streams even. Um, because it's just a lot smoother to watch, um, especially with games. Like I said, uh, games, you're going to want to use 60, anything that's not a game, or if it's a really slow paced game, like more of a, a card game strategy game, something really slow paced, um, you could put it on 30, um, but 60 is really ideal in 2022. So 1080, 60 is what you want under the video tab. Now we're going to go ahead and click output and then it's going to be on streaming, but we don't want to deal with that today. So we're going to click recording. Um, if you don't have all these options, come up here to output mode, click uh, this little drop down and change it from simple to advanced. And then you should have uh, more options like this. To start off, you just want to make sure your recording path is set so that you know where your videos are going. I have mine going to my hard drive under a folder I created called videos. Um, if you need to change this, you can just click browse. Um, and then make a new folder, put it wherever you want. Um, but I recommend putting it uh, somewhere we can easily find. And if you do forget where your videos are recording to, because I've done that before, um, you can just always come back here and see where they're going to and then change it, move your videos, whatever. First important thing you want to change here is going to be recording format. Um, I recommend MP4. I know there's something it like warns you um, that if there's like a power outage or something, it can be um yeah unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized i've never had any issues with like corruption or losing the video um so mp4 is going to be the best that's what you want to be recording that to upload and everything it's the most compatible format so this is mp4 there um now the encoder this is um something you're usually going to want on nvenc new um if you have just a lot older graphics card which i'd say most of you do not um, you'll probably just have NVENC, it won't say new, but if that's the only other option you have other than X264, you still want to use NVENC um, if possible. NVENC new is basically a dedicated chip on your graphics card that is for recording, so it won't use up any extra GPU really. Um, and the quality is really solid, especially on newer graphics cards, like it's pretty much as good as X264. Um, and especially for gaming, it's good because you don't want to be using up your CPU um a lot and this will use your graphics card not your cpu so that's good um x264 i don't really recommend ever using that um there are some certain scenarios where you might want to use it if you have just a really good cpu and your graphics card is you don't have one or something i don't know honestly just use um just use nvenc you should have nvenc if you don't have nvenc and you have an amd card you should have whatever the equivalent to that is i think that's still going to be better um x264 in my experience just uses way too much cpu um, to get good quality even though it is great quality uses a lot of cpu so i'll uh, put that on nvenc if you have it or the amd equivalent whatever it's called i don't know um, but other than that we just have a couple more settings here to cover now for rate control here you want to set this to cqp under your recording um, keep make sure you are on your recording tab and not changing your streaming settings you do not want to use this for streaming this is only for recording videos so uh, you want to set this to cqp it seems to be the most consistent uh easy to use recording setting um, that also gives you very good quality um cq level now basically this goes anywhere from zero up to 30 um, with the lower number being higher quality um i think um, but you really don't want to go anything uh, lower than 14 and you don't want to go 
honestly above 20. I think 17 is pretty much like a really good balance point between performance and quality. It's pretty much a lossless quality and it, I can still play games and record and stream at the same time. My computer doesn't really take much of a, a performance hit or anything. Um, my computer's you know pretty good, not crazy good. Um, I do have a 3700X and a RTX 3070 graphics card, um, but I find 17 to be good. Um, but depending on your computer specs and stuff, just uh, just start it at 17 and then you know change it between 14 and 20 to get the quality and performance that you like. Um, but I'm going to recommend 17 is is probably where you want to start at and hopefully that works for you um, Other than that you can just leave your keyframe interval on zero to automatically set it. That's fine um, Preset you want to use max quality if you are having like I said performance issues and you need to change your CQ level You can also mess with this preset um, And uh, it, it will lower your quality if you don't put it on max quality by a little bit Especially depending on how far down you go um, but like if you're or if you're on a really low budget PC, you can do max performance. But most people are going to want to just use max quality um, on a recording. Um, you can use quality; is also not too bad either. Um, but max quality is really what you want to use here. Um, other than that, profile is high, look ahead is off, psychovisual tuning is check marked, which is on. Um, GPU just leave down zero. B, max B frames leave that on two. And that's really all your recording settings to be recording in 1080p, 60 FPS um, in 2022. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, let me know uh, if you have any questions or any other settings you want me to cover. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.